You know what they say, better to have loved and lost, right? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 heartbreaking anime rejections. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the moments in anime where a character just totally got shot down. We're not talking about a casual no here, we're talking about rejections that rip the heart out and stomp on them. Get ready for tears and spoilers ahead. It makes me feel uncomfortable when you stare at me with such imposing eyes. I'm Brianna Knickerbocker. You may know me from the Fire Emblem series. I voice Rem in ReZero, Elaine in Seven Deadly Sins, Yuna in Netflix's Be the Beginning, and Donna in Ease 8, Lacrimosa of Donna. Okay, let's do this thing. And this culinary adventure requires intense concentration, so if someone were to leave his room, I most likely wouldn't notice. <laughs> Number 10. Second place to sister, Aromanga Sensei. What is it with these kinds of anime? I mean, why do they always have to do the best girl dirty? As a fan of Masamune's writing and apparently his absent personality as well, fellow light novelist Murasama confesses to him outright that she loves practically everything about him, only for Masamune to state how he's already into somebody else. Thankfully, he spared her the fact that she had lost out to his adopted sister. <laughs> Number 9. Catfight. Pokemon. <laughs> it's hard being a talking Pokemon, apparently. In something of an homage to classics like Casablanca, the mascot of Team Rocket recounts how he once fell in love with a female Meowth called Meowzy, one who is under the control of a wild Persian. Skip to the present day and Meowth finds himself battling said Persian in order to free the cat of his dreams. Surprise, surprise, he actually manages to win! But Miyazi still rejects him in the end because she finds talking Pokemon to be freaks. What makes it worse is he learned to do that just to impress her. <laughs> What'd she say? She never wanna be with me because I'm still just a walking talking freak me out! Number 8. The loneliest tuba player. Sound Euphonium. <laughs> Man, who knew that high school music clubs could be so cutthroat? <laughs> Finally getting the dreamy first year all to herself, Hazuki confesses her feelings, only to be met with a pretty pathetic reaction from Shuichi. <laughs> Despite having every reason to be upset, Hazuki instead immediately decides to help him romance the child friend he not so secretly likes, because that's what friends do? We hope you're happy with yourself, Shuichi. After all, tuba players need love too. <laughs> Number 7. Ninja Rejection Knockout, Naruto. Why Sasuke? Why won't you ever tell me anything? We'll be the first to admit that Sakura's crush on the last Uchiha wasn't exactly the most endearing character trait, but it's still pretty hard to look at the scene and just disregard the raw emotion. In a final desperate plea to stop Sasuke from hopping over to Orochimaru's side, Sakura confesses her feelings to him then and there. Sasuke! I'm so in love with you, I can't even stand it! Alas, her words don't have the intended effect, leading him to knock her out to prevent her from following further. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Sasuke. Sorry, Sakura. Guess revenge is just a tad more appealing than teenage romance. But in the end, I've decided on revenge. Number six. Second place to sister. Again. Oremo. From the same mind that insists sisters are the only way forward, we have this little number. A story about a guy who is utterly convinced his sister is a top-tier waifu. 
俺は俺はお前と付き合えない好きなやつがいるんだ Alas, as a result, Hyoski ends up losing out on the chance to date the most adorable gothic Lolita to ever grace animation. She was quirky, sweet, and wholeheartedly invested in our lead's happiness, and yet he just couldn't bring himself to abandon Kirino. If that wasn't bad enough, the breakup pretty much swears Kuroneko off love forever. Great going, Kiyoski! Number 5. And they call it Kitty Love. Monogatari series. There is no denying that Araragi has no shortage of lovely ladies in his life, some of which he really shouldn't be within arm's reach of, but that's a whole other story. As it happens, his classmate Hanekawa ends up getting her heart broken while also having to deal with an oddity that turns her into one deadly kitty. After a bloody skirmish and heartfelt confession, Tsubasa is able to return to her original self, but still has to endure the after effects of her friend rejecting her outright. We know Hitagi is best girl, but still, this is hard to watch. <laughs> Number four, now boarding flight to Heartbreak City. White Album 2. Setsuna. <laughs> Walking out on the bubbly heroine in order to get with the quietly aggressive waifu? That takes some stones. When it comes to the final hurdle, musical genius Haruki can't help but go after the beautifully lazy Kazusa. Seems like a simple setup, right? There's just one problem. Accompanying him is his bestie and original love interest, Setsuna, who still very much has the hots for him. <gasps> what does he do? Make sure she has a front row seat while he locks lips with her romantic rival. One man, at least have a little tact. <laughs> Number three, Bear Curry, Lovely Complex. Despite originally harboring a hilarious form of animosity towards one another due to sensitivities about their sizes, Atsushi and Risa eventually find themselves slowly starting to fall for one another. With Risa being the one to make the first move. Unsure of his true feelings, Atsushi ends up rejecting her. While brushing it off as nothing, Risa is eventually unable to hold back the tears and breaks down in front of her friends. If that wasn't bad enough, the only words she can bring herself to mutter are bear curry. It's so deliciously sad. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Digi destined to be heartbroken. Digimon Adventure 2. Now get in there and say hi to Matt for me. Thanks, Ty. The least you can do is leave us the cookies! All stand for the passing of what had once been a beloved ship. I mean, what the heck happened here? Sora, wait up! Oh, Ty! <sighs> The original series spent a good amount of time hinting that Tai and Sora had a deeper friendship than most. Ergo, we assumed that things would take a romantic direction when they grew up. However, turns out that Sora has a thing for rock star bad boys, as it's revealed that she's into fellow digi-destined Matt. So, um, Sora, are you going to the concert with anybody? I mean, not that it matters to me, just wondering. No, I want to be available in case Matt is free afterwards. <laughs> Oh, I see. Kudos for the team's fearless leader for letting her go in such a mature manner, but damn, that must have stung. I'll be waiting. Thanks. You know what, Ty? What? You've really grown up! And number one, take a wild guess. Come on, I know you know, I know you know. 
Rem gets remjected. Re zero. Look at that face. Look at that face. How did you manage to bring yourself to reject such a pure cinnamon roll, Subaru? How? Okay, Rem may have killed you in one timeline, and Amelia is kind of cute, but come on. <laughs> Through his various deaths and reincarnations, Subaru ended up earning the affection of this pint-sized Oni. They triumphed and suffered together across all manners of hardships. And just when Rem found the courage to confess her true feelings, Subaru decides to fall back on the half-elf. <sighs> Subaru, is it too late for another restart? Huge thank you to WatchMojo for having me, and a big shout out to my fans. Thank you for all of your support. If you love Rem and ReZero, be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, and you can follow me on Twitter at BriannaNoelK. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.